This video is about factorising when a letter is our common factor. So just as with the number questions, have a look at this first example here. What goes into AB and AC? Well, the common factor there is A. It's in both bits. So that's what comes outside our bracket. Then you think to yourself, what do I have to multiply A by to get AB? The answer there is B. And what do you have to multiply AC by to get, sorry, what do you have to multiply A by to get AC? Well, that's C. So the factorised version of AB plus AC is A brackets B plus C. You can check that in the exam if you like to make sure you're right by expanding the bracket again. So A times B is AB and A times C is AC. This second example is perhaps a little bit trickier. A cubed plus A squared. What's in both bits? Well, if you think about it, you don't always need to write this line, but this is just to help you understand. A cubed means A times A times A, and A squared means A times A. So what I can see in both bits is A times A, A squared. So that is our common factor. So A squared times by something is A cubed. Well, a times A is A squared, so times that by one more A, and I get A cubed. And then, what do I multiply A squared by to get A squared? Well, that's just got to be 1. Again, you can expand it in your exam to check you've got the right answer. A squared times A is A cubed, A squared times 1 is A squared. And then finally, a third example. X cubed. Just like before, if it helps you, that means x times x times x plus x times y. What can you see in both bits? Well, just 1x in both bits, so that's my common factor. What do I multiply x by to get x cubed? I have to multiply it by x squared. And what do I multiply x by to get xy? Well, I just multiply it by y. Again, check. x times x squared is x cubed x times y is xy, so I know that I've got those right by expanding it. I, ch I checked it by expanding. Two questions for you now. First of all, try to factorise c d minus d e. In fact, let's not do that question. Instead, I want you to do C, D minus C, E. I want you to factorise that. And secondly, I'd like you to factorise F cubed G plus F squared H.